here a test tube with some crushed ice in the bottom. I'm going to place on top of that a metal, a piece of metal, this is actually just a piece of metal from the shelving, laid on top of that, and then pour in some water. So I now have ice in the bottom and water at the top. The metal prevents the ice from floating up. I'm now going to take my propane torch and heat the water near the top. And you notice that I can actually get the water to boil while there is still ice in the bottom. So the water is boiling while there is ice in the bottom of the test tube. Why does this happen? The ice is held in place by the metal object that I put in here to keep it down. Warm water is less dense than the cold water and therefore the warm water stays at the top. Water itself is also actually a rather poor conductor of heat. And so the heat doesn't get transferred readily from where it's boiling down to the bottom. And so what I have then is two different phases present at the same time, ice in the bottom, water at the top, and actually steam also being produced when I boil the water. So there's actually three different phases uh, during the boiling process.